Good morning. Today we are installing a commercial operator. So it's a side mount operator, but it's heavy. It's a big one. It's for a big door. I believe it's a 16 by 22, 16 by 24, something like that. Um, we installed one yesterday. Install went good, didn't record it, but this one I will be recording. Same operator, just different side of the door. I'll show you a little video of the other one. And yeah, that's about it for this morning. So I will see you on the job site. Alrighty, so we are installing the overhead door RHX. It's a gear head. We already have a plate mounted back here, so it should be a pretty easy install. Um. So, we already have the other operator down. We're just gonna be putting this one up. That one took us maybe five minutes when we got here. And it was just Aaron who did it. So, like I said, not that hard. This one's heavier because you got the steel plate in the back and it's a heavier duty operator. I will be putting on the photo eyes while he does some stuff up there to get ready for the mounting. And then we'll both go up there mount it together i'll probably wire it and yeah that's basically it real simple stuff i will be taking these off these actually are a bracket that's connected to in here that you can pull off with a little bit of the little bit of persuasion and just just slide these in here then I'd put this in here. Oh, nice, I put it on backwards. As you can see, we did that door already. We have the operator up all there. These doors run really nice. See, he's got the wood. We're gonna be putting the wood over here again. And then running the photo eye wire, the wire is the most annoying part, all the way up, across, to there, and then from the right, going up, and it's, everything's gonna be mounted on that right side. So green is receiving and red is the transmitter as it says right here. So we want the transmitters shooting away from each other so they don't interfere with each other. Seen it happen before and the doors screw up so we don't want that. He's going for a ride since he's hitting the hammer. It's basically the same stuff on each side, so I'll get back to you when I'm done. Welcome, guys. You're with Aaron POV. We are working on the mounting for the new operator that we're going to put up. Basically, what we're going to do is we made a custom bracket for that new operator down there so that we can put some, we're going to put some two by sixes right here. Then we're going to lag the new custom mountain bracket to those two by sixes so we don't have to worry about, well, I guess we still have to tap on stuff into it, but uh, the new mountain bracket will have zero play so we don't have to worry about a loose chain. Everything's moving. Basically, this is going to add support to the shaft that's coming off of this shaft line, the spring line. <laughs> if this wasn't here, this would wobble up and down a lot. It's because it's so heavy. We got duplex springs on here, four duplexes, if I recall correctly. Uh, so there's a lot of weight on this shaft, uh, causing it to bend at the ends. And we want as minimum amount of bendage, bendage as we possibly can on this. Then once this is up, we can move on to the next step of adding the uh, mounting wood that we're going to use to mount the operator up on. That looks about good. One, two. Drill the rest of these. It's going to be loud, so have fun listening to the montage music. Cause if the sky is an ocean Then we're going slow motion
sweet. Uh, we're gonna pre-install the chain onto this sprocket right here so that when we are installing the operator, we will bring the operator over, rest the operator on this chain so that not only is the chain gonna be taut um, when we are putting the operator on, but it's also gonna take a lot of the load, basically half the load off of having to carry it uh, because that is a beefy boy of an operator. Um, and we would enjoy to not have to muscle it up, but yesterday we just muscled it up. So I think we'll just do that. It wasn't that bad. There we go. All right. I think we're gonna have to spoo. Eh, we might not have to. I really don't want to hit this with my hammer anymore than I already have. But goal will be to just place this right here. Let's do measurement real quick. I think we got a little bit more room on this chain than we did last time. So I think we are going to be all set. Cool. Alrighty. I am stolen you guys back. It's game time. Start off by... Watch this. Watch this fun little thing that's about to happen. Bang. Bang. Just do something like that. Bang. Oh shoot, I forgot that time. Bang. What the? Bang. There we go. Give it a nice little toss. Last little stake up here. Bang. Beautiful. Alrighty, I just cut it so I could put it behind this back here. Throw that in there. Ah. Alrighty, that'd be a good spot for when the operator's there, it'll go right in there. Should be a good size. The one thing you have to worry about in these, and now I'm going to pigtail it because it looks nicer when you pigtail. There's a functionality thing where if, that if, you know, if they hit these photo eyes and it's, it's stapled right here, you have all this extra wire, but it also looks nicer. And bang. Oh, I'm gonna leave it like that. Cause I don't know where the operator's gonna land. Well, all the wires there. So, cool beans. Let's go. I'm holding, you will use your hands. Push. I just bumped my head. Needs to go higher. That's fine. Key, down, key. Ready? All right. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. It's not level. You have to drop that left side or the right side. Dropping that right side should pull the chain more too, so. Oh yeah, that's money. Oh yeah. Think we're all good? Think we're all good? Cool. All right, we're running into a problem. It's black and white. 
<laughs> Let me write out Pit. What is it? The one on the right's dark, middle's light, and left is a little less light. Um. L1, L2, L3, browned over here. We have stop buttons over here. It's labeled open, close, stop, ground down here. Then safety beam, safety beam. So I'm gonna be working up here and down here. This is how to program it. So I already plugged this in. It's a 460 volt three phase operator. So let's uh, get this going. Obviously power is off. You're not working with power that's on or you're gonna electrocute yourself, which doesn't sound very epic. So boom, brown, white, orange, L1, L2, L3. Perfect, it's exactly what we want. Now it is time to move on to the push button and the safety. So take out this jumper. Because if you see, I don't know if you see, it says remove jumper if stop button is used. We use the stop button. It's a three push button stations. So it's open, close, stop. So we do you have a stop button. Just gonna double check this after I get this in there, of course. Open, blue, close, green, stop is red, ground is white. Perfect, that's what we wanted. So I'm gonna pull everything, obviously. I don't want anything to come out. If I have to pull it and it can come out, that means it's not secure enough. And it would come out either way. But it looks like everything is secure. This one's making me a little, okay, there we go. Alrighty, so now I would just put this in here. How much more? Huh? Two presses up That's where it stopped. Good? Yeah. All right, going up. Closing. Uh, check the photo eyes. We are all good. Everything's tight. That works. This works, power works. All right, I think you're money. All righty, we are all done here. So we got the operator over there done and we have the operator over there done. So this project is over. Um, so it didn't take us too long today. Uh, I don't know where my phone is. Um, but yeah, I think at the end I'll have it running or I'll show a video of it running, but you guys saw I was right next to the operator and it barely made any noise. These things are so nice. All the, all the noise comes from the door. So, uh, but at the end of the day, we really ate this job up and left no crumbs. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah, that operator sounds so good. That is the best, or quietest commercial operator I've ever heard of. Yeah.